Hey everyone, Michelle Fern here. You know, I'm a big history buff and I'm so glad I learned about so many great people in school, but there's so many I didn't learn about. Now from the creators of Wow in the World, Who, When, Wow is a new Tinkercast original podcast for curious kids and their grown-ups. So each week, the amazing host, Rebecca Shear, takes you into the lives of history's unsung heroes, heroines, and amazing humans who make us say, wow. Like Shirley Chisholm, she was the first African-American woman in Congress. Or the first lady of physics, Chien Sean Guru. Or Roberto Clemente, one of the greatest baseball players of his time. So listen close, you're going to hear a preview of the Shirley Chisholm episode. Now, while you're listening, you can go ahead and follow Who When Wow on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or better yet, listen ad-free and one week early by subscribing to Wondery Plus Kids in Apple Podcasts or Wondery Plus in the Wondery app. In the early 1960s, if you were a woman in America, life looked worlds different from the way it does today. It's the early 1960s, and women across America have their eyes on the prize. Marriage and children. Sure, they can go to college, as long as they become a secretary, teacher, or nurse. Otherwise, their husbands bring home the bacon, while the little ladies stay Okay, home we've heard enough, but how do you turn this thing off? It's a 1960s television, there's no remote. Gah! Woo, much better. But you get the idea, right? The early 1960s were not exactly a time of opportunity for the American woman. The good news is, as the 1960s progressed and America rolled into the 70s, more and more women began pushing back against their limited roles. And one of them pushed back harder than most. I stand before you today as a candidate for the Democratic nomination for the presidency of the United States of America. Her name was Shirley Chisholm. And when it came to all those traditional molds for women, this pioneering trailblazer didn't just break the stereotypes. She shattered them. I'm Rebecca Shear, and this is Who, When, Wow. Past is vast and wild. Many things have brought us to this day. As history has been compiled, some important details have slipped away. In our spectacular shared existence, we consider it our business to recognize a few folks you may not know. Shirley Chisholm was born on November 30th, 1924, in Brooklyn, New York. Shirley's mother, an immigrant from the Caribbean island of Barbados, worked as a seamstress. Her dad was a factory worker from the South American country of Guyana. Shirley's family lived in a low-income, mostly African-American neighborhood, where it became clear very early on that Shirley was a natural-born leader. She learned to walk early, she learned to talk early, And by the age of two and a half, she was showing the neighborhood kids, even the ones twice her age, exactly who was in charge. Okay, everybody, we're going to play another round of Shirley Says. Whatever I tell you to do, you do. But only if you hear me say what first. Shirley Says. That's right. Oh, and Rebecca Shear, you're playing too. I what? I I am? I mean, I thought I was just going to narrate this story, but sure, yes, count me in. All right, so here we go, everybody. Shirley says, quack like a duck. Quack, 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 quack. Shirley says, meow like a cat. Croak like a frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Uh-uh-uh, Rebecca Shear. 
I didn't say Shirley says. <laughs> ah, you're right, Shirley. You got me. Is it okay if I go back to telling the story now? Oh, of course. Go right ahead. Thank you, Shirley. So, by the time Shirley turned three... Wait a minute, Rebecca Shear. I didn't say Shirley says. <laughs> <laughs> Did I mention that Shirley also had a sly sense of humor? So, by the time Shirley turned three, her parents were struggling to support the family. To save money, they sent Shirley and her sisters to live with their grandmother in Barbados. Shirley's grandmother was a larger-than-life woman. I mean, she literally was larger. She stood at a towering six foot four. But grandmother was also a powerful force in Shirley's life. As Shirley later wrote in her autobiography, I did not know it yet, but this stately woman with a stentorian voice was going to be one of the few persons whose authority I would never dare to defy or even question. Grandmother gave Shirley pieces of advice that would stick with her forever. Like, you have a fighting spirit, Shirley. Don't let anybody turn you around. And? You have a good brain, Shirley. And you've got to make the most of yourself as you grow up. In spite of the fact that you're black and a woman. Black and a woman. As Shirley got older, she would refer to those two traits as her double handicap, her double hindrances, her double obstacles. And the way she saw it? I met more discrimination as a woman than for being black. But as we'll soon hear, she didn't let either one stop her. Well, you just heard a preview of Who When Wow. I hope you loved it. Now, for more episodes, make sure you follow Who When Wow on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and best of all, listen ad free and one week early by subscribing to Wondry Plus Kids in Apple Podcasts or Wondry Plus in the Wondry app.